Hey guys, it's Steve from the Tech Buzz, and I just wanted to say thank you for all you guys that have gone over to the YouTube channel and liked the video. I had my son do an unboxing yesterday for this product, the Legends Gamer Mini. And again, I'm trying to break him in um, slow, and I hate unboxings, I'll just be honest. And I know that's something he really likes doing. He watches a lot of YouTube channels, and uh, this is something he wants to do. So naturally, I, I want to break him in. I understand that the audio was um, a little out of sorts where the music was louder than the, the, the dialogue and uh, something happened on the encoding but uh, you know I still appreciate everybody checking it out and you know giving them encouraging words and um, that kind of leads me to what I want to talk about in this video. Uh, it's not a video about the Legends Gamer Mini although um, I, I am going to have some more videos coming out about that. but. I wanted to kind of talk about uh, my, my, my health situation and uh, I know a lot of you guys have seen I've been wearing a bandage over my nose for the last couple of uh, weeks and uh, it's continually you know getting better it's continually um, you know I, I, my skin is coming back on it so I wanted to talk about that uh, because if you've been around this channel for a while you've known I've, I've taken quite an abuse <laughs> with uh, the situation with my nose and I, and I get it you know YouTube you gotta have tough skin or thick skin um, but I just kinda wanted to be real with you guys today no no fancy uh, you know transitions and and uh, things like that but I wanted to you know just talk to you um, I had surgery to remove the giant um, excess skin that was on the end of my nose it looked like a, a ball but it wasn't centered it was it was just kinda there um, a couple weeks ago and it's caused by uh, a condition called rhinophyma um, causes excess skin to grow on the en end of your nose it usually happens in men that are a lot older than me 50 to 70 years old it, it can happen uh, but the underlying cause is from rosacea so all my life I've struggled with acne I've had it really bad as a kid and um, I went to the doctors for it uh, the problem was they treated me for the acne but the underlying condition was rosacea so had they treated me for rosacea when I was uh, a teenager I wouldn't have had this problem so fast forward uh, to today um, during this time of doing YouTube videos and being on camera uh, doing live broadcasts and live shows uh, you know I've taken a uh, quite a bit of uh, hits from from trolls saying, "Oh, what's wrong with your nose? What happened to your nose?" Um, you know, and, and and stuff like that. I'd be I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me, because um, sometimes it does bother you because it's something I have no control over. I have no way of making my skin behave differently, uh, but I but I do feel like I bring value to the the community uh, in which I'm involved in. So I, I got to thinking and I was like, well, maybe it's time to do something about it. And my wife was really concerned because um, on my left nostril, um, the growth of the skin started to grow and push my nostril in to where I was having a hard time breathing. And that was the first thing after surgery that um, I was kind of floored uh, because the doctor said, oh, the swelling will go down, and which, which I knew. Um, but I was like, I can breathe, I can breathe. It was like something everybody takes for granted. For me, it was it was something that, you know, I could finally do. So, um, but my, my wife, the biggest concern for this was the fact that, uh, for my health, you know, because it could continue to grow. And it's something that, uh, you know, down the road could really cause me some major problems to where I, I can't breathe at all. I guess I'm saying all this to you guys because I made the decision to get this taken care of and, and you know my kids have never seen me with a normal nose like it is now like they were floored when I took the bandage off and they're like wow you have a normal nose <laughs> like because all their life I've always had that and um, I, that was kind of a shock that was kind of something that uh, you know caught everybody off guard um, but I, I kind of wanted to do this video to show you guys that we 
we as content creators, no matter if it's me or anybody else you're subscribed to, we're, we're human. We're, we're normal people. Uh, we get into spats with people, people get into spats with us, uh, but we have feelings and we're, we're human, not just people that bring you videos on, on cool products like this. And uh, as much as I love all this stuff, one of the things that I've, I've been really pushing a lot for is my son. Uh, trying to give him opportunities because he really wants to do this. And the worst thing that I want him to see is how bad the community can be sometimes. People just have nasty attitudes. They become keyboard warriors behind their, their keyboard and they just start attacking people because they think it's okay because nobody can physically see them. Half of the people that comment on some of these videos with nasty derogatory comments those same people wouldn't say two words to a person in real life. Now, this isn't your Saturday morning anti-bullying campaign, and I'm not going to say that because I think we're all mature enough and, and know enough that, you know, you really shouldn't do that to people online. But the longest time I've had a hard time when my son wants to do this YouTube thing and he wants to come on and do the show and... I've kind of been feeling it out because I don't want him at this early age of eight years old to endure some of the brutality that some of these folks deal with. Me as an adult, I've chosen to be on the internet. I've chosen and I, I know how to respond for the most part to haters and people that dislike your videos or like your videos. And I've learned that it doesn't matter if it's negative engagement or positive engagement it's still engagement and therefore your video is still going to be ranked higher. Um, so one of the things that I really wanted to do is I really wanted to show him uh, that the community that it, it is good and I want to keep it in a positive light because I want him to want to do this because it's his dream and I don't want to squelch his dream and if I can help him I'm going to help him. So if anything comes out of the tech buzz through the 15 years I've been doing this and I continue to do this, I hope it's a legacy that I can pass on to him. Something that I can teach him that, you know, I've done okay for myself. Um, I don't need to be a celebrity. I don't need to have 100 to 200,000 subscribers. You know, I think that's everybody's goal to gain subscribers and I do want to gain subscribers on YouTube. But if I can leave him something, a legacy of what I've done and people that I've helped and, and and there's a lot of people that I've helped and a lot of people have helped me I think that's what it really boils down to I think being good in the community I think being that person that people can count on to me is something that I'd like to see more from from this community there's there's a lot of people out there that um, you know it's hard for me to stomach because I see things and I have to be quiet because it it's not it's not productive to talk about it so I guess from my standpoint here is I'm gonna do my best for my son and I'm gonna you know continue doing videos I'm gonna continue getting better and I'm gonna continue making mistakes I'm gonna make mistakes on these videos um, because it's just as much a letdown to me when a video gets screwed up in post uh, as it is to you guys the disappointment of watching it and um, I, I would just encourage everyone before, not just on my videos, but anybody's videos, before you go all keyboard warrior and you want to light somebody up, think about if this was being said to you and how you would respond to it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to tell you what you say to me. If you hate this video, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. Um, you're free to give your opinion. I just think there's ways of doing things in a constructive criticism manner as opposed to going all out and attacking somebody. There's been times where I've done videos and I'm like, man, I knocked this out of the park. And I look at the video count and I get like 200 views on it. And I'm like, really? I spent six hours on this video. The MVSX video that I did, the video review, I did that video and I had 13 hours in that video, no lie. So I want to put that out to people because that's the other thing. I've seen a lot of comments on this like, oh, you're lucky and must be nice to get free stuff. And um, I worked for this. <laughs> I didn't get paid in cash, but I worked for this. And I think a lot of people 
I know jealousy runs, but um, don't just assume just because a person gets a free product that it that they didn't work for it. Uh, because there's a lot of time and effort going into these videos that we do for companies that it's a way that the company can say thank you by giving us a product or letting us keep a review unit. Now the MVSX, I, like I said, I put a lot of time into that. I didn't get to keep it. I had to send it back. Um, and it, does, it doesn't bother me. But I, but I see a lot of posts, and not just my videos, but I've seen with other videos that people are like, oh, you're a sellout, or oh, you did this, or oh, you did that. And reality, anybody can start a YouTube channel, and anybody can create content, if it's good content, and anybody can become partnered with a company. If you're easy to work with, if you're somebody who really wants to help the company. And that's all I am. I want to see these companies, no matter what they are, I try to be as unbiased as possible for you guys because that's my reputation. And I think that um, if that's something you want to do, rather than telling a, a guy on YouTube or a broadcaster, hey, yeah, it must be nice or I'm jealous, um, why don't you try to do it? You might be that next guy. You know, you may have that it factor. And um, so this video is, is kind of just more geared toward this is what's going on. Um, and I guess I, I, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update as to, you know, what's going on with my nose. Because I haven't really talked a lot about it. I've just kind of given enough detail. And listen... If you're in the, if you're watching this and you've gotten this far, and you've got questions about it, you can leave the comments. I'm, I'm not embarrassed to ask uh, or answer any of the questions. Um, I'll answer them as truthfully as I can, and I will, um, you know, because I've gone all these years with it the way it was, and even though it's healing now, and I've got some marks on it right now, uh, that is uh, still healing. You know, it's so much less embarrassing now that my nose is normal um, than it was before. And, and I had to live with it. And knowing that, you know, my, my wife and all my friends, they didn't, they didn't see anything. They were just like, really? You know? Um, but now after it's done, all my friends are like, wow, I could see a difference. Like, yeah, that's totally, oh my goodness. Because they saw me for me. And I know it's hard when you're on camera. And so that's something that I want to also share with, with you, the community, that don't let something, at least in my case, something that's on my face, uh, you know, an abnormal nose, get in the way of your dreams and get in the way of your passions. I want my story to be an inspiration to you, that no matter how old you are, no matter how young you are, if you see something that needs to be changed, change it, you know? Uh, I wasn't born like this. It happened. It was, uh, a, you know, a problem that that had happened due to, uh, you know, a, a, an underlying disease. So I have to get it under control, and that's why I'm seeing a dermatologist, and that's why I'm on medication. So my face isn't super red, as you can see. I'm not wearing any makeup, and my face is normal, and uh, my nose is still, you know, healing. So it's going to be a little on the red side, but that'll eventually go down. And so I, I would just say to you, don't don't let pe don't let any of your disabilities or any of anything get in the way of what you want to do and who you want to become. And I hope if you see anything out of anything that's on my channel, that what I do and what I present to you guys is something that's an inspiration to you guys. That to me would mean more than anything. I want people to feel that when they watch my channel, they get something from it. They don't just get a product, a review. It's not me throwing it in anybody's face um, because that's not my that's not my heart. That's not my mentality. My anybody that knows me and that's close to me knows that I just want to help people. That's my that's my that's my thing. And if my channel grows because of it, great. If I lose subscribers because of a video like this, then. Then it is what it is. Then I know why they were really there. So 
Again, thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for all your kind words as I've been going through the healing phase of my nose. And um, there's going to be some cool stuff coming in the early of next year that uh, you know I'll be able to talk about. But for right now, we'll have to wait and see. But stay tuned. I am going to do a rev uh, I am going to do a video. If you haven't seen this, um, there's an unboxing video. You can go watch it. My son did it. It's a little hard to hear his voice, like we said earlier. But did you know you can take this and hook it up to your Legends Arcade as another controller for a third person? Or you could hook it up to your gamer for a third person. Well, I did a video. It's on Facebook. Go to my fan page, facebook.com slash thetechbuzz. And you can see you just hook it up like a normal Bluetooth controller. For those of you that don't know how to do it, if you want me to do a video on that, leave a comment below. Tell me you want, you want to see how I hooked it up. Very easy to do, but I know some of you guys are not tech savvy. Um, I'm happy to do that. I know this is a long video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Leave the comments below and um, make sure you tune in every Friday for the Retro Buzz for myself, Glenn Planamento, Douglas Smith, and my son, Daniel Haywood. And uh, we always have a good time and we look forward to seeing you guys there on all social platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, wherever your poison is. Um, go check it out. And again, guys, I can't say enough, but thank you for all your support. And until next time, keep it buzzing.